I'm ready, girl. Show me. I'm ready, girl. Oh! Hmm. Hmm. Um. That's not for memes. I know. I thought. Hmm. Well, you know. Um. You know. I'm gonna start editing my photos like this. <laughs> um. Hmm. Um. You know. It's kind of giving. <laughs> when I saw this that it was for memes. I legitimately thought that, oh my God, that's a really funny and disturbing photo. But then I found out looking at the username that this is a legitimate photo uploaded and edited by this girl. So damn, damn. I think I, unless the goal was to become- <laughs> Some Nami-licious, some Nami-licious. That's crazy. The head is what throws me off, mostly. I'm a One Piece character, and that's an insult to One Piece characters. Then I'm not sure if mm. it really hit because, oh my God, that arm why why is it so long why it's so damn long it's kind of like if um slender man was like sexy like ooh, slender man of everything is long why it, nothing is in proportion here if i was sitting next to her and i told her to go get the salt from the other end of the table and pass it to me i would die of a heart attack from the fear of her becoming elastigirl it just doesn't work in real life elastigirl is sexy this is not sexy mm. i think that this person doing this obviously is looking for attention but it's also gonna- No, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna start editing my photos like this. There's there's something to it. I think there's, you know, they already edited all their videos, their photos, everything be like thin as fuck. And I, oh my God, have you seen the video? <laughs> there's this video, you know, like Chinese TikTok sometimes has it or whatever, where the girls are really skinny and they're like, they move to the side so they can get between something, but they're obviously so skinny they don't have to, but it's all edited. I'm not that surprised. I'm surprised the booty's so big. I'm surprised the booty's so big, actually. I come with some bad attention. Thin spo <laughs> one piece. Exactly. I thought it too. That's Thank so funny. You. I didn't think it. When I say it has no effects, shaped like a dolly painting. Damn. Um, yeah, I just I don't I don't know what the name of this aesthetic is. I think they're trying to pull off like a doll look. Is your goal just not to look human? Like, who eats this up? I think that this body looked really good in One Piece. Like, are you Slender Man's mistress? I really don't know what the goal Yo! is here. Yo! We on the same page, girl. We on the same page. I swear I did not pre-watch this. I did not pre-watch this. Yo, we on the same page, girl. We've been on the internet too long, girl other than that. I don't have a problem with people editing their photos. Let me just say that. I don't think there's anything wrong with like taking out a couple of pimples and maybe some eye bags or whatever. Even like just brightening up the photo or your face or whatever for just a, a nice pic is fine. I do believe in anything in this world, there is such thing as too much of a good thing. Sure. And I think this girl and people like her definitely go over that line. Okay, this next one. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Mm. Oh, like, why? Why Ooh. would you? That's my question. Is why? What? What is attractive about? Damn. That is wild. Do you remember Coconut Kitty, God rest her soul? Coconut Kitty used to edit basically like a new face onto her body that looked really young. It was very controversial. And there was an aesthetic she had that I actually really, really liked at one point. At one point, I was like, oh, I really like this editing. Then I found out she was literally editing like a different face onto her body. And I was like, oh my God. And then every photo became so obviously weird and it became very like inappropriately weird. And then it was like very cringe. And then of course it was very intense. This, this is a version of editing your head. Like look at the neck bros, like look at the neck. And then <laughs> it's, oh, it looks very, it looks strangely like a masculine body and a feminine face. It's very weird. And the nose, oh man, that's a lot. This is a lot, bro. This is a lot, but I kind of think it was, it's kind of funny as like a meme maybe. Is this how I should become famous? I'm just gonna edit the fuck out of my Instagram photos. Actually, you guys should check out my Instagram. I still got, I put some cute photos up this week, girl. 
just wild about this i don't i don't get it natural beauty well i'm actually i'm actually surprised a lot of comments are really positive and oh I never mean, mind why not uh, I think oh it's Oh, you think it's maybe it's a joke, but actually I don't, I think if this was like, um, I think obviously if it's edited that hard, then yeah, special mod says it's art. I kind of do think it's art at a point. Like, don't you think if you edit your photos that much at that point, it is kind of art. Am I crazy? It's getting worse. This Japanese comment says like your face and body aren't balanced. I mean, that's pretty obvious. I'm sure crying girl with the okay the comments are actually getting worse as i scroll down here yeah dude i'm not i don't get it dude i know she's living her best life and this is probably just fun for her but i just feel like yo that put food this on social media like you you must know how the internet works like you must know yeah 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 alice says this feels like dollification what if it is just like a kink or dollification art or what if it's like what if it's just you know what if it's just like you know the attention you're going to get if you don't care that's great like wasn't I'm, it sabrina for... wasn't it sabrina carpenter who literally was just outed by a fan for like editing her waist smaller or was that somebody else and i remember laughing thinking girl even you girl i don't remember who it was but i feel like it was sabrina and i just remember thinking like what even you because like don't get me wrong like i don't edit nothing down like that i clear up my skin for sure or i make it look more like pleasing in some ways Though I'm getting less interested in like focusing in on that, but I, to be fair, my photos aren't supposed to be real. They're supposed to be like more artistic. And I really am using my Instagram to more or less like, just like brand, to, like be available and like move the brand forward. But it's not like I have like a wholesome Instagram. Do you know my Instagram? Oh my God. I sent it to my sister today. And I was like, look at this picture on Instagram. And she goes, I can't look at your account. I have to sign in because it's 18 plus. Um, What? And it's because my posts have been considered like inappropriate for most viewers, which to be fair, I guess is true. But also that's so interesting that people have to be signed in to see my Instagram account. That puts into perspective like, oh, I wonder if you have to be signed in to see Lean Beef Patty's Instagram account. Because in some ways, like all the adults who don't want to sign in, you lose out on an opportunity to move your brand forward. And then I have to think about that. Oh, that's interesting for branding wise. You know, it's not about trying to get the to see it is about trying to get the adults who don't want an Instagram to see it, which is interesting. But I've actually met girls like this in person in Japan oh. and they refuse for anyone to take any selfies with them because they are so insecure. A lot of mm. these girls won't even go to the convenience store without putting on slabs of makeup and a face mask. This just screams something much more deeper inside. Like again, there's too Damn. much of a good thing. And I feel like it really means something when you start to not even look human. Her eyes are taking half of her face. Her nose looks like a straw. The girl literally saw the viral video of the turtle that got a straw stuck up its nose and it was like doctor i want this i'm looking at her other photos right now oh. and again, I'm show her username interesting interesting okay can i say this out loud i feel like what if this is just like a very specific type of fashion branding for a very specific type of partner because you have to think about like who would also date this person Right? Like, are we all bringing this home to mom and dad? Like, are we all, like, let's be real. If this was our spouse and it wasn't just like an art thing, if this is like their life thing, wouldn't there be some sort of questioning about like, what is this big boob aesthetic with the nails, but also the hair in the face? What if she's just kind of like a type of girl? I'm here because I don't want her to like get all the hate. This one is, I guess, a little better. There's a lot. Of you know what? I kind of like it. I'm not going to play. I think it's kind of fun. Yeah, I kind of like it. Not for maybe a real representation of yourself, but kind of like as a doll, I kind of like it. Of other people that really like this aesthetic, that's mm. fine, you know? And I think that she, that's the type of people that she's feeding into. All I'm saying is just as one person's opinion in a in kingdom of millions of them, I just, I've never really understood this aesthetic. The reason I also brought this up is because I have a friend actually in Japan, several friends in Japan. Mm, great question. Nature says, is this publicly expressed body dysmorphia? Great question. 
who use dating apps like Tinder and stuff. And they've shown me saying that, dude, Aki, I hate using the dating apps in Japan because half the time these girls' profile pictures are either a food, a cat, not showing their face, Stop. or an immense amount of filters that you, you don't know what they look like. Crazy. And this girl's one of them. Like, you would never know. It looks like in this photo, too, she's pretty open about the fact that she gets work done, hmm. which is fine. Again, if you want to get work done, that's totally you know, mm -hmm. fine by me, in my opinion. But the thing that I don't get is why would you get this much surgery done only to edit yourself to look super different anyway? No, no, no. I get it. Because it's like, it's like doing drag or doing anything else. It's like for the art, for the aesthetic. I'm telling you, it's some sort of performance. You know, it's some sort of something. Right? Like, the hundreds and thousands of dollars that you put into surgery still isn't enough to the point that you still need to edit this much on your photo. It's like, is there even a point? I could do the mm. same effect without any surgery and save myself thousands of dollars. Let me try that right now. Okay, this is me with every effect maxed out. <laughs> oh my God. That's so funny. <laughs> You're a mean one. My editing software does this in my computer and sometimes I fuck with it because I think it's so funny, but it actually does fuck with you a lot. Like it feels weird when I go back to normal and I'm like, oh my God. And it's so weird because your brain like starts to get used to everything being very small. And then when you go back, you're like, oh my God. So I wonder if it's that. What if they're just so used to seeing themselves small, but then when they get big, it's like, oh. Mr. Grinch. <laughs> girl <laughs> the background is getting warped from just all of the crap that i've just done to my face i tried to do the thing with their nose to make it like as thin as possible yeah i don't like it ah! mm. it looks so bad like oh god what's going on here oh my, my finger what the f mm. you phantom bro i'm looking like mega mine right now yeah i don't like it i'm going back to my old look yeah, I don't Yay! like it. Aww. I would never and would not green eggs and ham ever try to do any of this. Okay, let's go on to the next photo. Okay, this photo. Wow. Okay, it's a lot of people that are just like really buying in. <sighs> That's a rough one, Mr. Grinch. I still think as an art picture it's very interesting like it almost is like creepy ai the hair definitely looks like extensions or wigs it looks like it definitely needs some love mm, this one's hard into this they're really thinking oh my god i would really like to suck milk out of her straw nose because god damn and i know people are probably going to say well aki how would you feel if people judge the way that you look they do all the time i know she talks about it often enough and guess what? Still living my life. And I hope that these girls Amen. do too. Amen. Wow. Look, oh, that one's cute. Look, this doesn't matter, but I can see why this sells. Look, Miss Gave was just talking to Amaranth about the Can you just tell that I always talk about things that I'm literally going through in the moment? Um, but he was telling her or she was telling him that like full on OF accounts are just AI at this point. Or some of them are just like, um, what's this called? What's the what's it called, guys, when you're on Twitch and you have like a cartoon as your avatar that people are just making OFs of their characters. And honestly, I'm not even mad about it or even I've I've seen some really amazing I like gift out it's so cool and like people make whole accounts they're usually men making whole accounts on OF and people are buying it and I'm like why not though right what does it matter I mean Andrew Tate was mm -hmm, uh worker and he was mm -hmm, people you know he was a, he was an OF girl basically um yes VTuber so like VTubers have their own OF accounts I actually think it's fine like I'll be real I just kind of think it's fine I think what's important is that the customer is getting what they want and everybody's good, but like I'm into it. Maybe because I do love him, but also like I'm, I'm kind of into all of this. I think it's fine. Like, I think if I, I'm almost tempted. Oh my God. You know how tempted I am to make a completely different character of myself so heavily edited so I can like do something very artistic, but with adult work because I like adult work. There's something about it that's really exciting. But I think because it's a safe space to just try the weirdest and somebody will like it. And that feels so great. I feel like it's a great space to be like a weirdo artist. And I kind of want to try something like this. 
I wonder if I could make it work. I do wonder. Shadow B says, are you trying to say monetize with that? Mm -hmm. Yes, girl. It's very hard though. You know, the YouTube algorithm, like the computer picks up the words we use. So when we change the word, like as YouTubers, do you know they just figure out what word we use to replace the bad word and then they make that the bad word and then we have to make up a new word just so we can stay monetized, just so we can actually make money, right? It's just kind of, anyways, I'm playing the YouTube game. Thank you. Know the game you're playing. Wow. Okay, so here's a selfie with mm. one of the friends that she took. Cute. And her friend on the left, I mean, it's still a lot of editing, but it <sighs> says a lot when I say that she looks more natural than I guess the, the main girl who's on the right. It's mm. just, I could, I, I don't know, I could be Ooh, wrong. It's kind of a vibe though. Nah, f this, this is a vibe. I'm into this shit. I think this shit is so cool. Like I'm kind of upset. I'm not gonna play, I'm obsessed. I think it's like the AI element. It's like the weird editing. It's like the lots of colors. I'm not even gonna play with you. I think this is art. I think this is modern day art and I'm fucking into it. But it really does feel like there is just like a huge insecurity issue like i'm sure we've all seen those videos of like plastic surgery addicts who end up being probably some really decent people but you just you also have to be like come on dude okay you're shocked that but is this an insecurity or is this an art i don't know i think it's cool i kind of want to look it up people are looking at you like okay let me give a prime example i actually have something saved here that i recently saw on instagram it's time to stop body shaming other people i was at disneyland today i love this girl this girl is on instagram and i'm always getting recommended her videos she cracks me up she's obviously doing it for views and i'm here for it i memorize when i watch her videos she has the biggest bbl i've ever seen but it looks really kind of nice on her and it's not good she's gonna get it removed eventually but it is like I love this girl's Instagram. I'm not even gonna play with you. I wanted to have fun with my siblings, but our day was ruined by all the people that were making fun of the size of my butt. She's a clickbaiter. I've seen her in interviews. They're only, they only make content to get views. Like that's her whole Instagram. So even this video here is like for views. The worst part is that they teach their kids to do the same. They yeah, you're sure right about that. I can't imagine why people would stop and stare at somebody who has clearly had a lot of plastic surgery done in their butt. That was clearly for attention like you know that your butt is huge and you're gonna yeah yeah but it's see this is okay i do think it's funny because like this whole literally this girl's whole instagram is about clickbait and views and she says it she's like yeah dude like why would she get the bbl if it wasn't for attention you know what i mean like that's what it's for she's gonna get it removed she's not doing this because she likes the aesthetic as much as like you know what I mean? I wear skin tight clothing and then go to Disneyland. They kept taking photos of me. They gave me bad looks all the time. Or just kept laughing at me. I know you may think that I am exaggerating. And that is my fault for being a big girl. But this is literally what God gave me. And I have to embrace every single part girl. of me. Even if you have a condition or you look different, <sighs> you shouldn't get bullied. Girl, God didn't give you nothing and you know it. It's for rage, it's rage bait, girl. It's rage bait. For the way you look. I would never talk negatively about someone else's appearance. Respect. Yeah, you would. You've definitely done it. Don't, stop lying. Everyone has done it, okay? I'm pretty sure these are not random videos that you found on your phone. You purposely made this real. You purposely posed in public the way that you did to get attention so that you could get people's reaction to make this shitty real later on. Also, can we go back? What did she just say? And that is my fault for being a big girl. But this is literally what God gave me. 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 Gave me. Is your surgeon's name God? Because <laughs> let's look at your links. Oh, oh. see, you have an F. See? No, no, no. Trust me. She's making bank. You have an F. You know what you're doing. So she does. Else? She does know this what she's doing. From someone that also has an F. I'm not going to oh. put that. Our girl has an F? Girl! Let's go, queen. I did not know that. We'd love to see it. Link anywhere because, yeah, anyways. But as someone also with an girl, we know what we do. You do the things that you do for attention. You're wearing the skin tight clothing over your big butt because you want people to stay. Then why are you coming for her bag, girl? Shh. Let the girl work her magic. Shh. I love her Instagram, girl. I love her Instagram. It's so fun. Her booty just interesting, okay? I like butts. There. that's all fine and dandy but stop playing like the victim I it's because... no it's for rage bay girl you know it is maiden says making a video essay taking rage bay material seriously is a little cringe i don't know if she doesn't know 
Like, maybe she doesn't know that it's rage bait. I only know because I was interested in that girl's butt. And I was like, what's up with this butt? There's got to be a story here. And so I went down the rabbit hole of researching into her and then just thought it was funny from then on. Because I was like, oh, I get it, girl. Make your bag, you know? Skin tight clothing over your big butt because you want people to stare. That's all fine and dandy. But stop playing like the victim. I hate bitches that try to act so innocent and play the victim when they themselves are doing the... Is she not picking up on the sarcasm? I think she, yeah, she might not, she might not realize it's rage bait. Violet says Abba used to fall for rage bait all the time. I was like, boy, you better, no, literally he used to fall for rage bait. But to be fair, it's kind of hard not to know that it is one. And a lot of, I noticed that conservatives not related to Abba or um, not anyone else, of course, but like, you know, conservative bubbles, they fall for like rage bait so quickly. And I'm like, are you insane? But you know, I think I saw Hassan say it the other day, you know, that guy that pisses everyone off on TikTok, who's like the conservative. And he's like, why would I drink water if there's birth control in it? He's like, so annoying. Hassan was like, oh, this guy is such a rage baiter. He is like, they're just doing it for rage bait. There's no morals behind it. There's no seriousness. But also there's another girl on OF on TikTok that makes me laugh so hard because she also posts like rage bait, but it's also like sweet rage bait. And what these girls do is they say like, I make this much money just being pretty. And then it pisses people off. They're like, oh, you're not even that pretty. Oh, I need to look up your OF so I know you're not that pretty. And then people look up their OF exact thing that they're criticizing also this is just showing that people all over the world are addicted to plastic surgery and changing up their body in insane different ways i'm just going over japan because of a specific beauty trend that i personally have never really understood now i'm going to share one last person with you and okay. this is actually a male Ooh. let's switch it up a bit his name is Matt Kuwata, and the reason I'm okay with saying his name is because he is very famous in Japan with a lot of fangirls because of the way that he looks. Ooh, is this the mirror guy? Who is this? His ideal goal is to look like as European as possible. <sighs> oh. 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 I, I don't even know how to react. <laughs> Man. That's a Cullen right there. If I ever did see one in my life, that's a Cullen. This man accomplished his goal. That is a Cullen if I ever did see one. He sparkle in the sunlight, girl. He did pretty good, honestly. He's not, he's kind of pulling it off a little bit. Mm, you know see it so a lot of girls really fawn over him and his look and things like that so more power to him he makes his coin doing this but let me just show you the amount of surgery that he's gone through here's a before of matt kuato oh my god and after yeah. wow you really did that though. Damn, that's kind of impressive. You know that, you know that guy who's always trying to look like Barbie Ken? Th he did it. This guy looks like a Barbie doll. Yeah, I'm not really mad at any of these people. If I'm gonna be real with you, I think like, look, you can be weird for weird sake. Just make sure you're doing it for you. You know, Ultraviolet says reverse Ollie London. Well, hopefully he's not Ollie London. Like hopefully he's actually just having fun with it. But if he really wants to be Caucasian, that's like super fun weird or european or whatever that's super weird like i just don't know what's up with that but i kind of feel like again i'm not upset with body modification as long as it's for the right reasons and within reason you see what i mean this is the extent that some people legitimately go through and again he wants to try and look i guess european damn but he has somehow kind of warped it to be his own thing that seems very uncanny valley and I'm yeah know, I, I can't really it is uncanny i think plastic surgery makes you look because i think we know like our brains know something is off. I think we do know. Like, I think, I genuinely think humans know when something is off. I like a dog knows. Or like, have you seen those llama videos where a girl will be wearing a llama mask and the other llama will come up to her and they'll be like, mm, what's happening here? It kind of feels like that. Maiden said, I'm not mad at it, but I refuse to believe this will make them joyful, maybe happy for a moment until they start to age. Well, I think it all comes down to the why they're doing it. But yeah, I think like wanting to be a different ethnicity is never going to coincide with your joy. Like, I just think that's never going to be the answer, right? Emily says, do you think body modifications comes out of insecurity? I think it mostly does. I think most people who get plastic surgery are insecure. I don't think being insecure is wrong or immoral. I think... 
thinking plastic surgery will fix your insecurity is probably the wrong answer. I think it is better to be secure first and then to still do the plastic surgery if you want to. But I think some people need a little bit of the help. And I think that that's just like introspection, right? I think it's easier for people to get the nose job and then feel secure. I think it is stronger to feel secure than get the nose job. And I think this comes from my mom not letting me wear makeup till I was 18. And she was like, I need you to get used to your face so you never feel like um, trapped by makeup. And it's true. I can leave the house without any makeup, without any of that stuff. I don't wear makeup in my real life. Like I wear mascara sometimes because a girl love her lashes long. But I think that's because my mom gave me a chance to really love my face and to to feel secure in myself. So now when I wear makeup, you know, like I'm wearing makeup now. It is many hours old because I filmed a video earlier today. It's been on my face for too long today. I probably could have reapplied before stream. You see all my blemishes and stuff like you can see I have spots on my face and like, you know, I that's just how my skin is or whatever. But I know that I think I feel much more secure than some girls who can't even leave the house unless they have makeup on. And I feel like if I got like a facelift later in my life or Botox, it would be because of a look I was trying to get versus an insecurity of mine. Like, or even like, or maybe it was slightly an insecurity, but I know that I'm getting it because I want to attain a look. Um, like I was listening to Greg Doucette talk about, Greg, I was listening to Greg talk about going to the gym. And he said, look, lifting weights is not about health. That's what cardio is for. Lifting weights is about aesthetic and being hot. Now, I don't completely agree with him in every aspect of that. And Greg is not my favorite person on the internet. But I do agree to an extent that partially I'm lifting weights to look sexy because I think it's sexy. But also, I should be doing more cardio if I was really focused on completely my health and I'm not doing enough cardio. So to be fair, he is right that I'm trying to be stronger, but I'm mostly trying to be aesthetic. You know what I mean? And I think for me, that kind of does ring true, but only because I think muscles are sexy. I'm going to sneeze. Woo! Let's finish out this video while I blow my nose. Thank you oh, for coming to my TED talk. Eat it up. I think they just want to look like anime characters, but it just, it doesn't hit for me. I feel like it would be really cool for cosplay. Pfft, we're all just living our life at the end of the day, but it's just something that I wanted to show you guys. It's a beauty trend that I've seen very often here. And also I'm just throwing you guys a bone here from the words of some of my friends in Japan. If you guys are looking to go into the dating scene or are using dating apps, if you're in Japan, don't be surprised if you're going to see, I guess, a profile picture of a cat, food, or a heavily filtered girl because privacy in Japan is just at a level that I just still cannot comprehend. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys. What's worse, cat food pictures or guys with fish? Apparently in the Midwest, a lot of the dating sites have like men with fish in them. <laughs> and I learned that from Love on the Spectrum and I was dying. I think that's so funny. Anyways, so, okay. I think ultimately aesthetic is great, but why you do it matters. And I think this, this even works with traditional beauty. Guys, traditional beauty is a torture for so many people. The reason people seek out unorthodox or different kinds of beauty standards is because the standard that was set for them wasn't what they wanted. I think there's this narrative people make that if you had long hair as a girl, and you were modest, or if you had muscles as a boy, or if blah, 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 you would be happy because that's the standard. And I think we need to acknowledge that it's not, but also we need to talk about how unhealthy it is for people to seek plastic surgery for the wrong reasons. Now, what do you guys think about changing your aesthetic for work? Because I've been thinking about that. Like one thing that I see not related to work, but related to dating is short men getting leg extensions. And I think that's interesting. And I definitely wouldn't encourage it in people. And I definitely would date a short king. So maybe I'm just, you know, I'm a short queen myself here. For me, I couldn't imagine dating somebody who got a leg surgery, but I also wouldn't, I would not not date them for getting a leg surgery. I just think it's very painful. And there's a lot of really horrible consequences to it that it feels like maybe we're not ready there. Like we're not there tech, technical, technical, technologically, but maybe if we were in the future and it was a lot safer, I'd be probably more for it. It's like a BBL. BBLs are so dangerous that risking your partner's life for BBLs just seems so silly to me. Risking your life to be prettier is always a mistake in my opinion, but 
it's not my business what you do, you know, but I do think it's a mistake in terms of for work. I could actually see that being a great benefit. Like I definitely could see me changing parts of my aesthetic for work as long as it wasn't a threat to my life, obviously, because some things I just don't care about. Like if you're willing to dress in a work uniform or dye your hair or not dye your hair, like I don't really think it's that big of a deal to get a job. Like when I had to make the decision if I was doing YouTube full time or full time, because is my part-time job. If I was going to do uh, a full-time though, I was looking into getting a job. I just thought it would be nice. I love, I have beautiful boobs, but how much cooler would it be if they were big? I love big boobs. Like I just love an aesthetic. And I was like, I would have loved to have bigger boobs. I wouldn't have mind doing that. But see, I would have done that because I would, I would have wanted to focus on an aesthetic. I feel like work gives you an opportunity or even art gives you an opportunity to really work on an aesthetic much more than even YouTube does. Like YouTube is fun, but talk about art. I feel like sex work and just art in general really gives you that opportunity. I think that's why I like, oh, I call OF my Tumblr because like I got off Tumblr when they were anti workers, but OF is like my Tumblr. What I would have posted on Tumblr basically shows up on my OF, but plus little spicy content, you know how it goes. But the idea is like, I just want a space to like express that version of myself because I love aesthetic, which is why I can't be mad at plastic surgery, but I just want it to be for the right reason. And the right reason is always, you know, one that coincides with your joy. Da 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 da